Hi guys and welcome to the 19 inch armoured Batman tutorial and this is my desk, quite a mess at the moment this is the customization of the armoured Batman and here it is and sometimes when I get into a project I forget to press record and I've done the exact thing with this project and I've actually skipped ahead quite a bit but I am going to talk you through it all so what I've done here is ground away the top parts of each arm as you can see and it looks quite messy but unfortunately I don't have any glue that, zip, that will glue this kind of plastic together I didn't want to go out and buy some because um, obviously I'm trying to save money and if you can do it any, uh, any different way that's cheap why not so what I've done here is attached the arms back on using two screws one at the top and one at the middle and in doing that what I have done is made the arms position more evenly out because on the original figure the arms point inwards and it looks quite awkward and in doing this you can position them so they look normal and then what I've also done is I've ground out the, his neck on both sides the front and the back and in doing that this LED torch is able to fit into the top like so and then also on his back I've cut out an hole big enough to fit my finger so I can pop my finger in and turn on the light from the bottom so the next step is to put it all back together screw it all back together and I'll be hot gluing the LED light into his neck so that stays into in position and then what I've also done is cut out the eyes on the helmet using the same knife that I used on the 12 inch armoured Batman and then what I've also done is painted the inside needs another couple of coats and that will light up his eyes and what I'm also going to do is put a film of bubble wrap on the insides and that will give it a nice glow so that's the next step, let's put it together ok guys, so the figure has been put back together you got your hole there which you can place your finger in and try and do this one handed whilst also in the camera there you go, turn on the LED torch I haven't taken that torch apart at all, it's just hot glued in there you can see it around the rim turn that off so it's not shining in the camera hot glued in there and then turn it on and off so now that's the figure back together and as you can see as well the arms are looking a lot better I do have gaps under the arm there where I pulled it away but I'm not too bothered about that once the cape is on and the weathering and all that it will take your eye away from the gaps under the arms and that's the next step to weather it That's the figure now covered in black shoe polish, including the helmet. And all I have to do now is leave that to dry, and then I'll brush it off with a uh, warm sponge. And then I'll move on to the chrome or silver paint to highlight all the scratches. And then all we have to do then is a cape. And as you can see there, the lights. For the eyes look fantastic and that is simply an LED torch so yeah 
coming along nicely. Okay, so I have decided not to go ahead with the chrome or silver highlighting. All I've done is gone over with a soft uh, sponge and washed off the excess of the black shoe polish. And then I've gone in with some gold paint just to highlight the golden um, pouches and buckles. And then I've gone in with a little bit of some black paint there just to highlight the, uh, the lip. And then what I've also done is used some black paint for the buckle strap just to make that stand out from the rest of the armour and then going with some silver and grey paint to highlight the buckle and the clips. Also, and again I apologise as, as I mentioned sometimes I get, go, get ahead of myself and I forget to press record, but for the arms, even though I'd uh, ground it away, they, weren't, they still weren't standing fit, uh, sorry, let to phrase it, they weren't far enough away from his legs so I went in with some plastic and it was just bits of an old CD case and I jammed it into the armpits and then so that way it pushed it away, pushed the arm away and then as you can see there that is just hot glue and I pumped hot glue into the underside of his arm let it dry and then paint it over it and as I mentioned once the once the cape is on you won't even see that and I've used normal super glue and I've glued his fist into a clenched fist on that one and then into a circle there and that is going to house the kryptonite sphere and just like the lights on the helmet I'm going to be having the kryptonite on the end of the sphere lighting up and I'm using the same that I used for the 12 inch spear these are um, I'm not, sure, I'm not entirely sure what they're called but I got bought this off eBay and they're used for widening holes in your ear lobes and I could, unfortunately I couldn't find a green one this is the size I used for a 12 inch Nightmare Batman I couldn't find a green one so I've got this clear one and then what I've done is found some glass, green glass paint it works on acrylic so I'm going to be giving that a coat of that with the paint and then I'm waiting for some small um, lights to come through the post and that's, the lights are going to sit, sit at the edge of the sit at the edge of the kryptonite spear just there little LED lights will sit in, in the top there and it will light up the kryptonite spear as for the figure the figure is more or less done I just need to do the cape cape now attached to the figure and the way I attached it was just using all purpose glue I didn't use um, super glue because it comes through on this material but I've glued it all around the edge and around the back and I folded it in to give it a nice edge I've done that on both sides and then using a knife I simply poked it into the hole it's not glued in in there or attached but it's glued all the way around the back and around the edges so that is the cape done 
Okay, so we're going to move on to the kryptonite spear. And I've made the kryptonite spear out of some steel tubing that I got from my local DIY store. And I've got two thicknesses of steel tubing. And I need to mention as well, these steel tubes are hollow. And the reason I, there is a reason I got the hollow tubing. So it comes in, well, I made it in four parts. So you've got the main body of the kryptonite spear and then you've got the end piece that slots onto the end you've got the handle piece that I've put into his hand there as you can see and then the main body slides into that like so and then you have the end piece which is again another piece of the wider steel tubing and then for the end piece that is a spring door stop that I've cut down and then the ear hole widener that people use to widen the holes in the ear lobes on the end and that is the same kind that I used on the 12 inch armoured Batman it's just a wider a thicker diameter and I did go ahead and buy a few different thickness of diameters because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use and I used one as a test piece for the green paint Oops. which is here this is glass paint which can also be used on clear plastics and acrylic so the next step is to give that a coat with the clear green paint and I'll just quickly show you how it all goes together and slides into his hand and whilst I was painting on the brush I accidentally knocked the pot over which created a big massive pool of the glass paint which actually worked out for the best because what I've been doing is rolling the paint uh, sorry rolling the acrylic spear in the paint as you can see I've been rolling it in like so and then as you can see there I've got the lights hooked up and threaded through and rolling it in has given it actually quite a few layers and it's coming up really well ok guys so as I mentioned I've cut out the eyes using a serrated knife and in the 12 inch um, Batman helmet I used masking tape on the inside of the eyes but on the inside of this one I've gone for I've used the side of a milk bottle so this is a, what's left of the empty milk bottle I've cut a, a thin strip and put it on the inside of the eyes and the effect is brilliant and the reason I did that is because when you looked into the eyes you could actually see uh, the LED light and this also gives it a nice glow and then moving on to the mouthpiece to give it a bit more of a skin tone as well as a bit of a 5 o'clock shadow all I've used on that is some brown shoe polish, kiwi shoe polish put it into the cap and then got a little small brush and I painted it onto the mouthpiece and then using some toilet tissue and toilet roll just dabbed it off I think it's come out quite well so that's the helmet now done with his little 5 o'clock shadow and the eyepieces. Hey guys, so some of you might have noticed the mistake, the big mistake that I've made. Uh, if not, then I'm going to take you through it. But basically, I used hot glue underneath the armpits, as you can see, under the armpits there and there, and it did. Makes the armpits, it does make the armpits look very neat, but also seal the whole thing together. Uh, in other words, I can't get the back off. So, when it comes to eventually having to change the batteries for the light, it's physically impossible <laughs> uh, because that glue underneath the armpits, as, as you can see here, there is a seam. These two bits, the front and the back, come apart. So in put, putting the uh, the hot glue underneath the armpits actually sealed the two together so I spent about five ten minutes 
just looking at this figure thinking how the hell can I get around it I did consider just ripping the whole thing apart starting again taking the, the cape off ripping all you know tearing all the hot glue off and starting again and then just finding a different alternative to fill the gap underneath the armpits but then I thought why do that the thing looks good as is you know it just looks it, it looks too good too neat underneath the armpits so all I've done and you can't see it anyway because it's underneath the cape so what I've had to do or what I did is I've cut a massive hole in Batman's back <laughs> um, so as you can see that is the top of the LED torch and that is the bottom so I've cut a big enough hole so you can get your fingers in unscrew the bottom take the bottom off and get the batteries out so you can change the batteries and to be fair once the cape is over it as you can see you can't even tell so yeah it was a learning curve um, but you know these these are the whole point of these customs okay guys that's the 19 inch armored batman figure now complete and i am over the moon with this thing this has probably been apart from the 19 inch nightmare batman figure that you can see just there this is one of my favorites especially the fact that i've been able to get the kryptonite spear to light up with the lights and yeah this has probably been one of my favorites so guys if you've got any questions or any suggestions of other custom makeovers that I can do please leave a comment below please subscribe we're at 386 subscribers at the moment close to 400 and one of these guys in the background here could be yours if we get to the, when if not if when we get to the 400 subscriber mark one of these guys here and these guys here will be yours in the 400 subscriber giveaway so all you have to do is hit that like and subscribe button below and one of these guys could be yours when we hit 400 if you've got any questions on this guy that's missing his head his head is around here somewhere there he is if you've got any questions on how, how i made this any questions on uh, on what you'd like me to do next apart from the guys behind me there any custom figures or props i'm still doing cosplay props as well they're in the pipeline uh, i've got a few props as well so any suggestions please leave them below so cheers guys and i shall see you for the next video